Okay, so I'm just basically gonna go through how I made this song in the one. It's got a lot of channels and a lot of things that I've used. It's pretty much basic. It's the usual plugins that I use and only a few things that I've used for the first time and stuff. So I found the beat on BeatStars. I usually get my beats done by a few friends like Shreepert, Bevan, Ashley, those kind of yeah, people. Exactly. Like they, you know, they make beats, they send it to me, and then you know, I work on it. But otherwise, I go to BeatStars.com, listen to a few tracks that I can find there. And then you know, a few certain tracks that I vibe to, I add them to my playlist, and then when I'm sitting freely or I have time to kill, I listen to this. And once I'm ready to record, I listen to these playlists and I choose one track that I'm actually vibing with the moment. Then I take it out, I write down lyrics to it, and then I get a flow in my head, and then I try to mix both the flow and the lyrics together so that it fits in the song. And once I've done that, I plug in everything and I start recording. So, yeah, and then when I'm recording, the first thing that I usually do is go to the track. I add a tuner plugin just to find out which scale this is in. So once you play it, you get the thing moving and it'll show you which scale this is going in. It'll show you the notes. So from that, I get which scale this is in. And then I put it into my pitch correction plugin. Put C sharp minor. If it's a minor, I put it as minor. Put it on it. You put it around from this. If this is zero, this is 200. So I put it around in between somewhere. I usually don't put it full all the way in. So yeah, and then I add a few compressors, three compressors mainly. All of them standard on all of my songs. It is a di platinum digital, studio F80, and a classic VCA. A classic VCA, yeah. And then I've put something, I put something called reverb. It's basically the effect that you get when you're singing in the washroom or on a stage. So it's called Space Designer plugin. I use that. And yeah, once I've done that, then yeah, then I record the melodies and all those kind of things. And then when I'm doing a harmonized uh, track, so if I'm harmonizing to the melody that I've already recorded, I create a channel. And I reduce the volume of it so that it doesn't stick out as loud as the melody. And I add something called a sample delay. So if I'm moving the delay on the right, like I usually keep it from 0 to 1000. So if I'm, I always keep it in between somewhere, whatever number it is, but 0 to 1000. And I put the, if, it, if I'm using the delay on the right side, I pan it to the left. I have no idea how this works, but that's just how I do it for all my songs. So if in this case, if it's the pan to the right, sample delay is on the left. And for this, this was basically a very, 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 some really high uh, ad-libbing thing going on. So I used an extra, no, extra reverb uh, plugin, which was called Platinum Verb. And yeah, and then I've got a small chipmunk portion singing kind of thing. It's like an, it's like an ad-lib thing, again. So I've done all the normal things, I've added platinum reverb and all those things, but to get the chipmunk feel, I usually sing in my normal pitch, and then I go to the regions and transpose it, plus 12. In the same scale, but really higher. So then, the only other thing that I usually use for the first time was the flanger and the phaser on the oo part. So, I've got this channel here and I did the woo and I did all the normal things and I added a flanger and a phaser. I don't know how these things work in real. So I was just messing around till I felt like okay this is perfect. So that's what I did with the phaser. I have no idea how this thing works again. So I just mess around with it till I feel like this is perfect. And so yeah that's basically it. And yeah and then I record whatever I feel like is right. So that's basically it. It was not much the song I didn't write two verses because I wrote one verse and then I was like I didn't have enough inspiration or more content for my second verse so I just decided I'll just go for a bridge so I cut out the original track I fix it fix in parts which I wanted for as I wanted it and yeah that's basically it and then I recorded over it and then that's it thank you for watching